It will. I, I, and like, I, like I'm not someone yeah, who's Matt, like, as if Matt you want to have this thing, you shouldn't play 5e. It's like, chill out there, psychopath. Mm. You will have a better time with a system more tailored to what you want. You will, yes. Absolutely. But if you want to do it your way, do it your way. You know, it is what it is. honestly, <laughs> real shit. This is a little bit of a tangent, but I don't know. Like, I, I think that's really my frustration. Anytime, anytime people are like, but I don't want to play another game. I want to play 5e. And and I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I, I understand what you're saying. You've played 5e already. You know what it is. You want to play it because it's easier and, you know, whatever. And you're used to it and it's comfortable, but and it's like Play-Doh. Yes. But the thing that frustrates me is that when I'm suggesting to people, oh, you should play this game instead, it's usually because in my head, I'm like, you should play this game instead because you're going to have a better time. It's going to be more fun if you play this game instead of 5e. Oh, I want to play a game where... Um, all the characters are monsters and like we're in high school and like we kind of want to make out with each other all the time. Oh, you should play Monster Hearts, but I'm doing it in 5e. Yeah, but you're going to have a better time if you do it with Monster Hearts. You're going to have more fun because that's what the game was made for from the ground up. You're going to have more fun with it. Like, mm. that's the thing that gets me so tilted when any time people are like, but I don't want it. It's work. I'm like, yeah, but it's work that's worth it. I understand it's more work, but the I, I know this is some stereotypical fucking Uncle Iroh Grandpa Wisdom type shit, but like the things that are worth it in life require work. The things that are more fun require work, you know? <laughs> like, like, unless no, I mean, the it's, person it's, specifically is asking, how do I do this thing in 5e? I, I don't know. I don't know like, what this person is saying specifically, you know? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, unless they specifically say, I want to do this thing in this system. Because, like, I, I've talked to Isaiah about this where, like, I get mad. When people are like, how do I run a heist in 5e? And people are like, just play another system. And it's like, no, numb nuts. I asked, how do I run a heist in this? this yeah, this, but yeah, here's English, the thing. This specific system, which is doable. And it's like, if people are like, if people would just say instead, hey, you should look up this gather game, you might be able to take some inspiration. Or if it was vice versa, it's like, hey, I want to add some heroic fantasy to my fucking heist game. What do I do? And it's like, hey, have you looked at 5e? But like... like Here's the thing, Matt, even in the case where somebody specifically says, how do I run a heist in 5e? And I say to them, maybe you should just play Blades in the Dark instead. Th th the thing is, is like the person saying, how do I run a heist in 5e? They might not know what they're missing. Like they might be saying, how do I do it in 5e? Because 5e is the ga only game I know about. And it's the game that I learned how to play. And so now I'm just sort of not, I don't feel like trying to do any other hunting or I think it makes more sense to try and do it in five, like whatever the reason is, but they might actually not know what they're missing out on. You know what I mean? Like you be might, you could be potentially opening someone up to a whole new universe of fucking shit. They would have never known. About. They could find their new favorite game potentially. So it's like, yeah, so I, I can see that I, there's, you know, I, I agree <laughs> with what you're saying, Josh, but I, I think. I think you get the same result by by with what Matt was saying, right? Is rather than saying just play this game, say, "Oh, check this system out. They do this mechanic really well." Well, yes. You might be able to incorporate that into your game <clears throat> and then they could read that book and go, "Oh, what what other cool shit this book has?" Yes. And they go, "Well, this game is just fucking sick. Hold on. I want to play this." There's more delicate ways to do it, for sure. Yes. I think the approach of how you suggest someone play a different game that it helps a lot, especially the problem, too, is the real reason that this becomes a frustrating nightmare a lot of the time is because people coming from 5e, 5e is the king of the castle, and it's really hard to tell to, to say to someone, well, you know, you don't have to listen to the king all the time. Like, I know he's the king, but you could you could listen to, like, one of the courtiers every once in a while instead. I'm just saying this other guy, he's pretty cool. And then you're like, ah, but I don't want to dishonor the king, though. you know, like people coming from 5e are in this weird position where that was a strange analogy i don't know why i went down that rabbit hole but people are coming from this weird position where they feel like it's harder to pull someone away from 5e into other games because of this stranglehold 5e has on the hobby but as soon as somebody literally it's let me phrase it this way it's really it's difficult to get someone to play their first tabletop game 
And then if that first tabletop game is D&D, it's incredibly difficult to get them play it to get them to play a different tabletop game. But once they've played that second game, all bets are off. The doors of Gaia have opened up. Heaven is heaven is before them. The fucking the apple, the uh, the Garden of Eden is visible. Like once you can get someone to play a different game once automatically people become more willing to play other games after it, like instantaneously. I've seen it happen a bunch of times. Like you just, you just opens all this, all this, op, all these opportunities up. So it's just, you know, that's really what it, it's. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is like, I'm sitting here on the other side, like, no, listen to me. I promise I'm doing this for your own good. <laughs> you know? Fair enough. I don't know. I know that was a, that was a complete rabbit hole, but yeah, like I, 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 I'm not trying when I tell someone you should play this game instead. I'm not trying to be a dick about it. I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to say it because I genuinely think you will have a better time if you play this game instead. And again, the way you phrase it does matter for sure. Like how you approach it is relevant. But. Yeah. Okay. That's not really related to the to the taking question, though. <laughs>